What is a transcatheter aortic valve replacement or TAVR all about? Well, I'm going to cover that, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and we're going to talk about a type of valve replacement when valve repair is not an option. And so this is the transcatheter aortic valve replacement or TAVR, T-A-V-R. So I'm going to cover that in the next section. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about valve replacement and some types that are typically done. So heart valves damage beyond simple repair can often be replaced. The most commonly replaced valves are the aortic and mitral valves. When either of these valves exhibit advanced stenosis, they may be candidates for replacement, and some of the replacement valves are implanted using a balloon catheter, much like coronary angioplasty. Uh, when the mitral valve is too loose to properly close, blood flows or regurgitates backwards into the atrium. And when this valve cannot be repaired, patients may have the option for either mechanical or tissue valves to be replaced. This module presents the three most common replacement options for the aortic and mitral valves. And so the aortic and mitral valves are the most commonly replaced valves, and we're just going to click on the buttons to learn more about each one. So the first one is aortic TAVR or T-A-V-R. So the transcatheter aortic valve replacement or TAVR. So you have the subclavian here, the aortic, the transapical, and the transfemoral. These are all different types of arteries and veins and all that stuff. So a balloon catheter is equipped with a replacement valve and is inserted into one of the main sites shown at the left here and it is then guided to the aortic valve. The most common insertion sites are transfemoral through the groin and transapical through the ribs. I'm just gonna hit next here. So you can see how the transcatheter aortic valve replacement works. So the balloon catheter inflates to expand the replacement valve into the aortic valve space. And so that catheter just kind of put it in there and now it, it's starting to kind of open and close as the heart pumps blood in and out the heart. And that kind of completes everything. So we'll kind of look at that once more here by hitting reset. And we'll see how that process basically works as the catheter goes back into the heart there. And then it kind of opens up and implants it. From this particular valve replacement surgery, you can see that a balloon catheter inflates to expand the replacement valve into the aortic valve space when basically the flaps aren't working properly. And this is going to be one solution that can help you. There's a couple other ones that I'll cover in some other videos, including the mitral mechanical type of valve replacement, as well as the mitral tissue valve replacement and each one kind of looks at that particular area or has a different solution depending on what type of material it's made out of too. Well that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can watch more videos like this one or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on.